This is Simon Stark and in this video we are looking at viral and bacterial diseases. Now first of all we will look at viral diseases. And the first viral disease is measles. Now measles can be spread by the inhalation of droplets from coughs and sneezes and it is known for being very infectious. So it can cause blindness and brain disease and in 2013 over 140,000 people died globally of the disease. There is no treatment for measles which means that the infected person must be isolated. However, due to vaccinations and improved living conditions in the UK, measles is very rare in the UK, however it is still fairly common in less developed countries. The next one is HIV, which can lead into AIDS. So when somebody is infected with HIV, it can be hard to realise because it only causes a mild flu-like illness to begin with. So HIV attacks the immune cells and after the initial mild illness, it remains hidden within the immune system until it is so badly damaged that the immune system can no longer deal with infections. Now at this point, the HIV has become AIDS. Now HIV is spread by direct sexual contact and the exchange of body fluids such as blood. So therefore it can occur when drug users share needles or when unscreened blood is used for transfusions. Now there is no cure for HIV or AIDS and it should be prevented in the first place instead. So the regular use of antiretroviral drugs however can prevent the development of AIDS for many years and give HIV positive people a normal life expectancy. The next virus which happens in plants is called tobacco mosaic virus. So tobacco mosaic virus, also known as TMV, is a widespread plant pathogen that causes a pattern of discoloration on the leaves as the virus destroys the cells. So this means that the affected areas of the leaf cannot photosynthesize. So it can be spread by contact between diseased plant material and healthy plants, and the insects can act as vectors. So there is no cure and only good field hygiene and good pest control can help prevent the spread of TMV. Next, we're going to look at some bacterial diseases. And the first one is Salmonella food poisoning. Now, Salmonella are bacteria that lives in the guts of many different animals. So this means that they can be found in raw meat, eggs, and other egg products like mayonnaise. So if these bacteria get into the body, they disrupt the balance of the natural gut bacteria and can cause Salmonella food poisoning. So for the majority of people, Salmonella infections are very unpleasant, yet they are not fatal. However, in young children and the elderly, it can cause dehydration and therefore it can be fatal. So in the UK, poultry are vaccinated against salmonella to control the spread of disease. However, Campylobacter, which is another bacterium found in chicken, still causes many cases of food poisoning. So to prevent food poisoning, raw chicken should always be kept away from other food and it should be well cooked. The next bacteria related diseases is gonorrhea and gonorrhea is another STD which can be caused by unprotected sexual contact with an infected person. So gonorrhea has symptoms in the early stages but then becomes relatively symptomless. Early symptoms include pain on urination. So untreated gonorrhea can cause long-term pelvic pain, infertility and ectopic pregnancies. Gonorrhea is bacterial, so this does mean that it can be treated with antibiotics. However, antibiotics resistant strains of gonorrhea have developed, and this means that it is becoming increasingly difficult to treat. Finally, we're just going to look at some bacterial disease in plants. As there are relatively few bacterial diseases in plants, but one type is called Agrobacterium tumefaciens, and this can infect fruit trees, vegetables, and garden flowering plants. The bacteria insert plasmids into the plant cells and cause a mass of undifferentiated genetically modified cells to grow. However, scientists can use this to their advantage by manipulating the bacteria so that they carry desirable genes into the cells that they infect. So thank you for watching this video and see you soon. Bye.